most important thing is the stitches all go in the same direction. Ooh, when you complete yes. your X, yes. the same formation is, all, is always on the top. And so when you look at the finished piece, you'll see that your finished part of the X is always lower right to upper left. That's where the top of the cross is. So one thing to really instill in your stitchers is that the stitches all must go in the same direction. The second most important thing to instill in these stitchers is that when you're dealing with a blue line canvas, which we do with Elizabeth Bradley, uh, that the cell edges are always on the left and the right, never the top and the bottom. The cell edge, and we had a few that came back that were top and bottom. The cell edges must stitched. all oh, beautifully stitched, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but the cell edges must always. What we so do. That would be in the instructions, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be yeah. in this booklet. Yes, in this booklet that we put together. Mm -hmm. uh, now. Uh, the blue line canvas is designed by Zweigart for Elizabeth Bradley. Uh, Liz was very, very clever in how she designed everything. Um, and we use a 40 inch wide canvas of which uh, a 16 by 16 with its excess canvas measures 20 by 20. So the canvas will be cut straight down the middle. So every canvas will have that blue line. We just need to make sure with your stitchers that it's on the left or the right, never the top or the bottom. The explanation for that, and the, I'm sorry, sure. the reasoning for that is that there's always a little bit of difference as you work a canvas up and when it's actually being created, the canvas itself is being made. Uh, so that when you go to join two canvases together, there's a slight difference if the canvas has been stitched in a rail, what we refer to as a railroaded fashion, and by railroaded I mean running the selvage along the top of the bottom. When you go to join that to a canvas that has the selvage going down the side, it's slightly harder to join together and isn't quite the same. So we would encourage you to ensure that your stitchers are not railroading their canvases. The third most important thing uh, with your stitchers is to make sure that they understand and we've, dis we've um, uh, addressed this with the hash marks in the center mark. We got a few back where there was like half an inch on one side of excess canvas and about three and a half on the oh, other. Yeah. And the yeah. problem for us where, where in oh, terms wow. of a fine cell experience, because they're just being made into cushions, it doesn't really matter, that's still salvageable. For us, where we're joining canvases mm -hmm. together to create yeah. rugs, mm -hmm. we yeah. have to ensure yeah, that we have those two extra inches all the way around. So if you think that the hash marks and the center yeah. point will uh, eliminate that yeah. issue, yeah. then we should be fine. Yeah, I'm I would, would, would for our terms. Okay. I think I like this. Stitch. I think I'm still just coming here. 